well went everywhere. I'm so Welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome. I never say this, but I'm Nikki. <laughs> nice to meet you, and I am covered in dog fluff. I'm really sorry. Having three dogs and black clothes, not a good mix. Anyways, I was scrolling through Instagram and I got stuck on Dua Lipa's Instagram page. I don't know how I got there, but I ended up there and I'm not mad about it. I saw this look, I saw that. I don't know if you can see her eyes, but I was intrigued. Let's attempt it, shall we? Okay. So first and foremost, sunscreen. I have already cleansed my face and I've already put my other moisturizer on. I'm sorry, I forgot to film that. Do I do eyes first? Or my base first. I feel like I should do eyes first just in case I muck up and then I can just quickly do my base can't I? I'm actually gonna put some tape on my eyes because that is a very sharp wing and I don't think I can do that so we're gonna go in with this. I hope they're even, they're definitely not but neither are my eyes so okay let's prep the base. Um, I take this little cream basey part over the lid I set that in place. I take the James Charles palette. I always keep everything so far away. And I take this brush. And I'm gonna take the white one and go over the, the base. Okay, it looks like it's a very like neutral brown color. Like it doesn't look warm, but it doesn't look cold either. <laughs> cool, that's the word, cool. I'm gonna stay in the James Charles palette. We'll take this one. We're gonna take this one here just to warm up the crease, even though I just said we're gonna keep it cool, but you know what I mean? Just, just like be the transition. <laughs> she kind of wings it up a little bit, but we're just gonna blend it into the tape. Okay, I moved this tape up a bit as well because I realized, <sighs> sorry, very out of breath. Like six people have come to the door since I started filming and I've already done my, my crease. Now that we've put that in the crease, we're gonna go in with this color up here, which is a very neutral brown, it's just a bit darker though. We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna keep it just above the crease, I think. I have no idea what I'm talking about, by the way. I'm just doing exactly how I see it. Kind of blending it up into my eyebrows as well, just because it seems very seamless on there. Like it's all just flows together. So I'm gonna keep it high and in the brows. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back in with that same color and just Deepen it up just a little bit more. And now we're gonna do a scary part and cut the crease. Ooh. So I'm gonna use this flat shader brush and I've got this LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. That was such a long way of saying it. We've got the concealer from LA Girl. What we are gonna do is pop a little bit on the back of the hand. Oh, I think that hit my forehead. It did. How? I mean, they go and then the sun's coming out. Ew, that might have been a bit much, but it's fine. I don't use this concealer anymore. So it goes in like a cat eye shape. So I'm gonna follow the shape of my eye pretty much and then flick it up at the end. Oh, I'm scared. So because we wanna be able to see it when we open the eyes, I'm gonna do it just above where my crease is. So that like when you open the eyes, you can still see that there's a cut crease. <laughs> Now we've cut the crease. It's a bit like jaggedy. <laughs> it's a bit of a wobbly line. We're gonna set it. I would normally set it with just like a matte powder, but because here is like, it's like an off-white sort of shimmery color. So I've got this one from the James Charles palette. I have this brush. It looks dirty, it's not. It's just the color of the bristles. I'm gonna go into, oh, there's a, there's a stray hair. You are too long, sir. Get out, get out, oh my God. Get out, thank you. Load the brush up and we're gonna go over the entire, actually first, where's that brush? The brush that we use for the cut crease. I'm just gonna sort out where all the creasing is. And now we're gonna set it. Okay, now we've done that. <laughs> I look like an alien, but I've made sure that shimmery color, I've made sure it's like really intense where the line is because obviously down here, we're gonna be putting the, like the eyeliner on, well, the shadow. So it doesn't really matter if it's like shimmery down here, does it? So now, speaking of liner, we're gonna do the liner, which I am scared. 
four. If you go through every single one of my makeup tutorials, every single time it comes to eyeliner, I'm like, I'm scared. But you know what? I ain't lying. I do be scared when it comes to this. Okay, we're gonna go in with the same dark color that we used for the crease, because they look like they're matching on her. With the width that we're going, like we have to remember we need to stick gems on it and still be able to see the wing. So we're gonna have to go quite thick, which is fine because we've got so much space to play with now. Let's give this a whirl. She keeps it really thick when she goes to the inner corner, obviously to keep the rhinestones there. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, wings are on, they're very thick. I feel like this is one of those trust the process kind of looks. Okay, we're not gonna do anything else on the eyes yet because we have to do some stuff underneath before we put the rhinestones on. The rhinestones? The gems. Rhinestones, is it rhinestones? Oh my God, next, stop questioning yourself every time. <gasps> oh no. I forgot I had concealer on my hand, now it's everywhere and it's all in my hoodie. Look at that. Oh, Nick, man. You had one job. It's not the end of the world. We have a washing machine. Let's prime the base. I'm gonna use this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Just gonna keep it in the T-zone. Hope no one comes to the door now that I look like this. Do you know what I mean? A bit terrifying to answer the door and be like, hi, how you doing? Don't mind me. <sighs> I can't take myself seriously looking like this. We're gonna do foundation. I'm gonna mix the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and the Stay Naked Urban Decay foundation. I, I was doing like a recreating Kim K's makeup look. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. But um, yeah, and I mixed these two together. And I liked it. I'll put a little bit on here. Oh, that was a lot. I don't need that much, Nick. Make sure I get those spots, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna blend using this brush. Oh, forgot about this bit up here. Oh no. I'm gonna go use this brush just to make sure it's all blended. Okay, we have some spots that need covering urgently because she has flawless skin. Look at it. Flawless. Oh, I'm using the Bare Minerals Concealer in light two. I'm gonna pop it everywhere I have a spot. <laughs> I'm also gonna put it a little bit under the eyes. Cart shape tape. Pop a little bit of that under the eyes as well. We are running low on this one. Blend it out. I'm gonna leave the spots until last. I'm gonna let them sit and do their thing for a bit. Okay, now that we're all blended, we're gonna use some cream bronzer. I'm gonna use the Soleil de Tan Chanel on a brush like these. She looks like she keeps it right here. So that's what we gonna do. She's quite bronzy now, so we'll put a little bit on the on the bowl of those. She does look like she brings it quite like down here. So we shall do the same. I'm not gonna do cream blush because to me it looks like she doesn't have a lot of blush on. So I'd rather do that part with powder than with blush, with cream blush. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand my logic? So we're gonna set. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Make sure there's no creasing under the eye. Otherwise that would be a bummer. Just this brush. I do have a sponge. I prefer brushes, I don't know why. Then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the RCMA no color powder. I'm gonna use this, this one. I'm gonna leave the cheek portion, like the, where we put the bronzer until last because we're not going to put a lot of powder on that place. Take a tiny, tiny bit. I picked up way too much. We're just gonna, oh, see, way too much. It's fine, it's fine. We can use some powder bronzer to bring back the bronze. So I completely disregard what I said in the first place because I didn't even follow my own rule. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, my nose ring. She looks like she's kind of contoured her nose a little bit. So I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna use the color Jet Setter from the Tarte Light and Bloom palette. Oh, she pretty much does what I normally do. But obviously her nose looks a lot different because we have different noses. And that is okay. That's an obvious statement, but it's still okay. Blend out the nose contour just a tad because it was looking a little aggressive. I'm gonna add some powder bronzer because we went in a bit too much with the normal powder. And we're just gonna keep it where we did the other bronzer. 
Now we're going to do blush. It's a very peachy blush, I think. So we're going to use the L'Oreal Life's the Peach Blush. This is pretty much just my everyday base, but it's fine. We're not mad about it. Me and Dua be twinning on the daily. Oh yeah, I forgot. She keeps it quite like low down here. Forgot to mention. Sorry. She looks like she goes over the end of it. Her nose with the blush as well. Next, we're going to use a bit of highlight. Hers is, it looks a bit like natural. But also she looks like she's got like a, a golden glow to her face. So I'm going to go into the Morphe highlighting palette. I'm going to take this colour called Lit. Like a little goldy colour, but I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of Stardust just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to keep it just here. And I'm going to sweep it. I usually just keep it very concentrated in one place. So I'm going to sweep it over this whole area because she looks very glowy just everywhere. This isn't going to look very good on my bumpy forehead, but it's fine. The spots can have their moment, I guess. Now we're going to take a little pointy brush. I'm going to go into the gold one. Put it on the end of the nose. A little bit in between the brows. Okay. Does she have any under her brows? I think she has a slight bit, doesn't she? Take this little brush. Take the colour extra, actually. Just under the brow. What colour has she got in the inner corner? She's got a white in the inner corner. So we'll put a bit of stardust in here. Let's make our way back to the eyes. Oh, actually, no. Let's fill in the eyebrows first. I'm going to use the Glossier Boy Brow. Mine's the clear one. And I just brush my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to fill them in with the Max Factor Brow Shaper in the colour Deep Brown. Okay, brows are done. I have to make them a little bit more intense than I normally would because the eyes are so dark. Okay, now we need to try and do the rest of the eyes. <laughs> what we're going to do, I'm going to take this brush again. I'm going to take that first colour we used, this one. Kind of just, I'm going to kind of pinch the brush a little bit and go right on the lash line. Now we're actually going to take the brush that we used for the concealer. It looks like the white goes around the wing. So we're just going to do a line under the wing. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I'm not using like a concealer or anything for this part. I'm using the white eyeshadow from the James Charles palette just because it's not too intense of a line. Okay, now we're going to take this brush again and we're going to take that lighter brown that we used on the underneath and she kind of from the lash line below she takes it kind of like a little line underneath the the white line we just put there very faintly That's, it's probably so faint that you can't even see it on camera but it's there i promise i'm gonna wind i'm gonna line the waterline with this white pencil um because that looks like what she's done <laughs> okay didn't make too much of a difference, but you know, we tried. <laughs> now it's rhinestone time. Gem time, Jesus Christ, is it? I don't know if rhinestone is the right word. I could be fine with saying rhinestone, but we'll see. I have like this wheel of gems. I don't want to tip it because it's kind of open on one bit, but I can't twist it all the way around to the ones I want. So we're just going to use these little tiny, I think they're just like little moons. I don't know if they're like mixed or not. Yeah, they're like tiny little moons, but that's all I can that's all I can do. So we'll just pretend that they're circles. I'm gonna be using some eyelash glue. Because for some reason I have eyelash glue but no eyelashes. Like fake eyelashes. Don't know how that makes sense, but I don't know how this is gonna go. This could completely go balls up. I have my tweezers. Don't say this is the hardest part of it all, is try to pick one up. Okay, the end of this brush here has like a little point on it. So I'm gonna use that to dot some glue over the eyes okay they're quite there's quite a lot of gems on the eye so we're gonna try our best okay i've managed to put gems over the top i'm gonna go off camera put them on top of this and i'll come back for when we do the underneath yeah, i've managed to put gems over this side they look very very bad but we're going to trust the process. I'm going to put two gems on the inner corners. Well, one on each inner corner. Because that's what she's done. Okay. Gems are in the inner corner. Now she has them underneath the eyes as well. So we're going to give that a go. This is such a long process. <laughs> Obviously, it would look so much better if it was like actual gems, not like... If it was like the circle gems, not little moons, but and obviously it would look so much better if it was done by a professional makeup artist, but 
it's just me at this moment. Now I've put the gems on, they don't look great. I'm not feeling it, but we're gonna curl the eyelashes, put some mascara on and see how we feel. Curl the eyelashes. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, that feels weird. I just don't think I have the eye shape for this. Do you know what I mean? Like on her, obviously it looks flawless. But on me, it looks a bit intense. Okay, she has false eyelashes on, it looks like, but I don't have false eyelashes, like, anyway. So I'm just gonna make sure my eyelashes are looking as intense as possible. Okay, she has lower lash mascara on too. Okay, I think I prefer it with, <laughs> with eyelashes. We're gonna wait for them to dry, we're gonna curl them and then put more eye, um, more mascara on. It was going so well. <laughs> now I just look weird. We're gonna move on to lips. Hers are quite red. I'm gonna do my normal everyday sort of lip combo. Cause that's kind of how that turns out. So give me a second. We're gonna use the Lucas Papaw ointment first, just to prep the lips a little bit. Should have done this ages ago, but oh well. I'm gonna use this brown lip liner. I don't know where it's from. It says Obsession on it. Is that a trend? Is that a, is that a trend? Is that a brand? I'm gonna overline my lips a bit because she looks like she has. She's overlined the outside of the lip, but like when it comes to Cupid's bow, she's kept it where it is. where it is. Now I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath lipstick in shade Flesh 3. And I'm not gonna to go too much. Let's go put a lot in there. I need my finger just to blend everything together. This is why putting lip balm on before helps. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount of this pale pink lipstick. I'm gonna put a lot of this just in the center because my lip combo turned out to be a little bit darker than what she's wearing. We're gonna curl the eyelashes again. And now we're gonna put some more mascara on. Now I just need to set the face, but I'm gonna wait for the eye, the eyelash to dry, otherwise it'll be everywhere. We're just gonna go in with it and not go near the eyes, do you know what I mean? Oh my god, I went near the eye. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing ever. I should have just weird. Okay, my face is damp, so I'm just gonna fan it out a little bit. She doesn't have her, she's, I think she's still in the middle of having her hair and makeup done while this photo is being taken. So she hasn't got her hair done yet. So I'm not gonna worry about what mine looks like. <laughs> yeah, this is the makeup. I'm sorry that I wasted your time. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world. I shall see you, hopefully, in the next video. Bye.